Hey, REM community, it's Maddie. Happy New Year. We have quite an update for you today. Lots of changes and improvements have been made, and I'm excited to share them with you. It's going to be a long one, so here we go. Next week, we'll be launching on Product Hunt. It's a huge opportunity for us to grow as a community and get lots of great feedback. Our plan is to launch next Wednesday, January 13th. We'll be hanging out on Product Hunt all day long and answering questions. So if you've been enjoying RemNote, you can show us some love by stopping by and saying hi. I'll leave all this info in the description and I'll be communicating more information throughout the week. The RemNote team will also host a community-wide call on Product Hunt launch day at 1 p.m. EST. We'll do a quick walkthrough and answer lots of questions. If you'd like to submit a question or even attend, you can sign up from our link, which I'll leave in the description below, or you can find it in the update log. All right, let's dive in to see what's new. We have a few new features that will be available for RebNote Pro. First is PDF support. At the source location of a document, you can upload a PDF and clicking on it will open up that PDF. Inside a PDF, you have editing options as well. You can drag your cursor over any text to highlight it, or you can use Control plus drag to create a highlighting box. Both of these methods can be saved as highlights. Highlights are referenced rem to your PDFs. Using Control plus C on any highlight, I can then paste it over into my notes. This will transcribe the PDF highlights into your notes. Alternatively, you can hit enter to copy the rem as a pin to make a nameless reference. I'll go over pins a little later in this video. If you then close the PDF, clicking on the highlights in your document will open up the PDF and bring you to the part of the highlight in the actual article. After marking up a PDF, you also have the option to view all the highlights from that particular PDF. To do this, click the Notes button at the top left of the document, and the highlights will be organized by page. You can go back and forth between the highlights and the PDF by toggling this Notes button. Some metadata and even the author information can be copied from PDFs and pasted into your notes. For example, if a PDF has its outline laid out, you can extract this information into your notes. It doesn't work for all PDFs, but some of them will. By including a side document to take notes on, we've made it easy to generate your own interpretations and mental models for PDFs and articles, while still being able to reference the original content. This way, it's always easy to refresh your understanding or revisit a paper later on without losing your train of thought. The next feature for RemNote Pro are aliases. An alias is an alternative name for a rem, which you can use as a reference. There are two ways to create an alias for your rem, and I'll demonstrate them both. I'll create one for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. This is a very cumbersome name to write out every time, and I'd rather use the common abbreviation NZ. So first, I'll create a concept rem by the name non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Then I'll create a reference to that rem. I can select the reference, hit enter, and then type the desired alias. And now it will be fully linked to the original reference as you can see by a hover of my cursor. Notice what it did to the original rem. This is the second way to make an alias. The second way is to type forward slash alias on any rem to apply the power up where you want to add an alias. Here, you can visualize how NSAID was added as an alias for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. For another example, I'll use myocardial infarction. I'll use forward slash alias to add the power up and type in the alias heart attack. Notice how you can add many aliases to any particular rem. And when you want to reference this rem later on, you can instead type in any of the aliases and it will perfectly link them to the original reference point.
You can track all the linked locations by hovering your cursor over the original rem and all the linked aliases on their specific rem. The workflow options for aliases are enormous, and you can take them in whichever direction suits your workflow best. I'll provide a couple more examples of how you might want to use them. You can use them for different languages. For example, the word dog in Spanish is perro, in German is hund. You get the picture. You could also use them to describe different word tenses, such as humble, humbling, humility. More examples can be found on our update page of RemNote, but have fun with the aliases. We've also added pins, as I've alluded to before. Pins are similar to aliases. You can change the look of a reference to a pin without a name. This can be useful for citation purposes when working with PDFs or if you just want to have subtle looking references. To make a pin, highlight over a reference and delete the name, then hit enter. You'll then see a pin icon appear with the same functions as a reference. The final pro feature we're adding is daily backups. Head to settings, account, and choose daily backups. This will allow you to download a JSON file for a daily backup of your knowledge base. Next, we have a lot of editor upgrades for all RemNote users. Let's go through a few of them. First is LaTeX blocks. Editing in LaTeX now has the option for block formatting. This will center your inputs, and we've also added a link for a LaTeX guide for functions that can be used. We've also added hierarchical document pins. This allows you to automatically generate concepts into a specific document if you plan to make them in that document over and over. Kind of confusing, so I'll demonstrate. I'll create a reference using two open brackets. Using shift and tab, I'll navigate to the document where I want to save all my newly created concepts. I'll choose this document here. Then I'll hover over this icon or use the hotkey Alt plus P to pin this document as the source. Now, any references I generate will be automatically saved to that pinned folder. I'll create a few more references so you can see what's happening. We've also added resizable panes and reference images. When working in two pane mode, you can now drag the center divider to resize the panes. Referencing images are also resizable. I'll scroll to this image of a husky and copy it as a reference using forward slash copy or the hotkeys control shift R. Then I'll paste the reference here and you can see you can resize the referenced image. Arrow gestures are also added with plain text. I can make arrows or greater than equal signs by using a combination of dashes, equal signs, and greater or less than signs. And here are just a few more notable minor upgrades for RemNote. Zoom keyboard shortcuts, right to left editing experience has been improved. You can also import Anki decks and select only sub decks, other UI and UX improvements, and you can now change your password. And finally, this update also comes with our pricing model. As we've mentioned before in our FAQ, RemNote will always have a very feature-rich and powerful free plan. However, a pro or lifelong learner subscription will grant you access to many more features. Don't worry, all our current RemNote community members will have grandfathered access to all the pro features before this update. For a complete breakdown of all the features going into Pro versus Free, head to the update page to see which plan is right for you. We currently have our early bird pricing in effect, so grab a Pro subscription while it lasts. As always, thanks so much for everything REM community, we're really excited for these new changes. And just to reiterate, we'll be hanging out on Product Hunt next Wednesday, January 13th, so swing by, come say hi and we'll answer all your questions. And I will talk to you soon.